is seven o'clock and uh, we're here today uh, to talk about 3D printed cookie cutters and uh, how my process for putting those cookie cutters together um, is uh, pretty easy. Uh, it's free um, and the way I do it is pretty simple and I'm going to go through that process today with you guys. Um, our first thing I'd like to talk about is if you guys are not a member of the Cottage Food Bakers of Northwest Florida, even if you don't live in Northwest Florida and you just live in Florida, we have a lot of good information about the cottage food uh, industry in the area as well as cottage food and how to set up an LLC for cottage foods, how the, the laws and regulations in Florida and how that will affect you guys as well as um, locally uh, our, our members do a really good job of promoting each other's businesses as well as promoting uh, cottage food industry as uh, ambassadors for that. Uh, one of the awesome things about the Cottage Food Bakers of Northwest Florida Facebook group is that uh, when you guys get um, notified or, or somebody asks you for a job that you can't do, a lot of you guys come on to the, uh, the group and say, hey, I've got somebody who needs a cake or some cookies and, and uh, I can't do it. But uh, we find people for you guys to actually um, satisfy those customers. So... Uh, that's awesome, and we love that, that you guys do that. So um, for that, uh, if you guys want to uh, join the Cottage Food Bakers of Northwest Florida, you just go to the Facebook search uh, at the top left-hand corner here. Type in Cottage Food Bakers of Northwest Florida, Cottage Food Bakers Florida, Northwest Florida Bakers, and we'll show up, and you guys can really um, help us out. I mean, like, we're, we're here. It's a We promote... Uh, community over competition is basically what we talk about a lot on the site and you can see we have a lot of good information about uh, local and statewide regu uh, legislation or regulation and how to set up an LLC and when your annual um, reports are due which they're due I believe May 1st so if you don't have them done if you're an LLC make sure you get those done uh, lots of information about taxes and and things like that so uh, we'll get started um, as well with uh, some information so if you guys can uh, if anybody's on yet I might wait a couple more minutes see if we have any members joining us today at seven o'clock uh, to see if we get a good amount of people if they have any questions they can ask me the questions to ask about how I do uh, things like that. So, minute, and we'll get started on how I set up these amazing cookie cutters for my wife, who actually does all the cottage food uh, baking in our household. So, uh, a little bit of information about what we do is we started. Um, the um, cottage food bakers of Northwest Florida in part kind of as a selfish thing because uh, my wife was starting a cottage food business and we wanted to figure out what cottage food business was about. So we set up the, the Facebook group. We expected there to be like 15, 20 members. Uh, and we have happened to like, we almost have 250 members. We have 244 members as of today. Uh, which is amazing that there are that many cottage food bakers in the area of Northwest Florida. And I believe there's probably several thousand cottage food bakers in Northwest Florida. They just don't know about it yet. And uh, hopefully they do and we, we get their information and we expand the group. Um, but like I said, uh, my wife was starting a cottage food business and we wanted to figure out how this works. So there was a small group in Northwest Florida. Um, in our area that talked about it but they just didn't talk too much about it so we wanted to figure out like what was the deal so we started the group and uh the members just keep rolling in we get about four or five member requests a week um since we started it i think it's only i think we started about a year ago and um 
we've got that many more members. Um, but like I said, we wanted to figure out how Cottage Food Days work. And uh, my wife decided that her big thing was going to be sugar cookies. And we do lots of sugar cookies. But one of the things was, is, uh, you know, you get an order and like, hey, you know, I need three dozen sugar cookies and they I want them to look like, you know, for instance, we live in a big military town. I want them to look like Master Sergeant or Chief Master Sergeant or or uh, Colonel Rank. And you can't just go and buy that and have it show up at your house the next day. So, you know, you, you know, on a Monday you get an order and um, you have to make, you know, two dozen Master Sergeant, you know, cookie cutters that look like the rank by Friday and you know you, you went and bought a uh, cookie cutter online it would take you know a week or two maybe maybe longer for it to come in so we ended up buying a 3d printer and we 3d print our own cookie cutters so this is how we do it and it's pretty easy and I use all free software online the only thing that we paid for was the cookie uh, the um, 3d printer so all the software I use online is free uh, to make the cookie cutter uh, soft the cookie cutter file that we use it's an STL file um, and that's how we do it so uh, getting on to that let's uh, let's start looking for an image I don't know if anybody's here let's see if anybody's here we can ask Nate hey what type of image do you think we should make let's see if anybody showed up we might just be doing this for Funsies. Two viewers. Hey, uh, whoever's viewing, uh, why don't you say hi in the comments and uh, tell me what image better should we make? Give you a couple minutes and uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I am not a cottage food baker. I don't bake. I don't make cookies. What I do is I am a retired Air Force pilot that uh, supports my wife in her endeavors to make cottage food. And I eat a lot of cottage food. I eat a lot of cookies. I'll eat a lot of cake. And I'm happy to do that for her. So, uh, but I what I end up doing is I'm I make her cookie cutters. Uh, I sell a couple of cookie cutters online. Uh, I'm not really going to plug that, but uh, it's, I mean, I, I basically sell them for about as much as it costs me to print them. Um, the go the cool thing about 3D printing is it's very cheap. Um, I think I sell them for, I mean, three, four dollars a cookie cutter, which is about as much as it costs to mail them out normally uh, to people. So um, I don't have anybody. So what we're going to do is uh, my wife asked me to make her a cookie cutter today so go to her we have this file this is the number one needed uh file so a yeah yes so that's what we're gonna make let me get rid of this for here this x all right so we're gonna take this picture and we're gonna make it into a cookie cutter file the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna download the file. Download. All right, so I'm gonna download that file. And the first thing I'm gonna open up is a free program that you can get. And it's a vi it's it's for a vinyl cutter. So it's called Silhouette Studio. Uh, Silhouette Cameo is the uh, vinyl cutter, uh, but they have free software. So if you go to uh, Silhouette Cameo, website and you download the Silhouette Studio. It's free software. Everything I'm doing tonight is free. Um, and what we're doing, we'll take it, we'll open, we'll just do, open a new file and see what downloads. And that was the file, boom. So a little bit big, so we'll make it a little smaller so it's workable. Pull it down, get it in there, all right? So we've taken this file that we downloaded off the internet. Um, now here I have to do, basically say that um, if you're using um, 
files off the internet. Like you can see, this is a vector stock file uh, or photo. Uh, it is a stock photo from a stock photo program. Uh, so you can use that legally um, for your own use. Uh, are you allowed to use that for business? Well, so here's my here's my philosophy on this. I'm not using this photo for my business. I am taking this photo. I am basically using it to make a outline. And then I'm taking that outline and making a product that has nothing to do with this photo. We don't replicate the photo for our cookies. We don't replicate the product for our cookies. So in skirting the legalities of it, it's perfectly legal to use this photo to create a cookie. Now, whether I sell that cookie to someone, I believe it's still legal. And I don't, as long as I'm not replicating that photograph or that, that, that image to sell the cookie. So if we change this to a uh, starburst, we change this to a uh, orange, we say, whatever we change it to, it, it makes it perfectly legal. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna trace the image. So click this button here and select trace area. So this is the trace tool, select trace area. I'm just gonna select the area around it. What we're trying to do is we're trying to actually get the outline, the outline of this image. We don't care about anything else but the outline. So I can see the trace outer image. So I trace the outer image. And what you do is you just pull the image over and boom, I've got the image. I've got the, I've got the outline of the image. Now this, if you wanted to make it into a cookie cutter, all my cookiers know this area here, if I made a cookie cutter and I cut out the cookie dough and I put it in the oven, this area is gonna break. So the, the object is I need something, basically make a cookie out of, that's gonna be very solid, very structurally sound, but I can also make to basically draw or design the cookie that is, you know, the, the actual painted part or the the the, uh, the designed part inside of it or the you know, decorated portion. So what I want to do is I want to be able to lock these up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this section here, which is an offset section. So I'm going to select the outline and I'm going to just make an offset, right? See how it connected? Oh, what? We'll do is remove the inner, all right? See, it connected that. There's some space in between here. So, what I want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it one more time because I think I need to make it a little bit bigger. Now, actually, I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna take that one. I like that. I like the one we had. And what I do is I need to get rid of these pieces. So, this right here is the modify tool. So, all I want to do is click it again, and I'm gonna hit release. What that does is it makes all these pieces fit. Take this, I'm gonna delete it, and I'm delete. And now you can see if I pulled the that back in there, you've got you'll have the white space of your cookie and the designed part of your cookie. So it'll be a beautifully designed cookie inside, you know, with the with the decoration, and it will be structurally sound, which is awesome. So how do I make this outline into a cookie cutter? So the crazy thing is I need to make this outline into a solid color. So I'm gonna go to the paint, it's already red, boom, red, and now I've got a solid color. Now here's the trick. Here's why I have to use multiple programs. So Silhouette Studio only will output Silhouette Cameo uh, files and I don't need a silhouette cameo file. What I need is I need this big blob of red to output into the next program. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the snipping tool from Windows. Now if you have a um, if you have a Microsoft uh, Apple product you can use uh, the snip they have a snipping program it's it's in, uh, command shift four. Command shift four and then you basically snip the same way you snip with this. It's just it's just not called the same tool. So hit new. I'm just gonna trace it. Boom. 
it's snip new we're gonna call it uh, new snip save file save as and i'm just gonna call it uh cookie sucker because that's what it is right i'm just gonna save my desktop and close this down so i've got this saved i don't need silhouette the studio anymore so the next thing i need is a program it's actually a website it's called cookie cad just cookie cad i already had it open that's the next so cookiecad.com cookiecad.com so the person who built this is my best friend in the world i don't know that who they are but what they did is they designed a website that allows you to take that big blob and create it into a cookie cutter it does all the hard work they did all the programming to make it into the cookie cutter file that we're going to use to make the cookie so uh all they do is require you so all they do is require you to log in um and uh what they do is if you don't have a 3d printer you could do what we just did we could import that image we made and you could order it from them and i would suggest if you don't have a 3d printer if you don't want to spend the between 200 and 500 hours to make to buy a 3d printer use cookiecad.com they are amazing and they send you some amazing cookie cutters uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way to the bottom say have your own 3d printer download your cutter and stamp your stl for free at app.cookiecad.com so let's go it's going to open this up and says create your own cookie cutter turn an image into a cookie cutter by uploading below dark lines on the light background work best and then if you can you can actually go they have a lot of help it's they have some videos it's amazing you can contact them i've contacted them they are an amazing company and i would suggest if you don't have a 3d printer just use them but i have a 3d printer so i'm going to use their program to build it so you can use their their shapes but we're going to say click here or drag file so we're going to click there we're going to go back to our desktop because that's where we saved it and we called it cookie sucker okay so you're going to see it uploads and then it's going to open up a new window and if we wanted to just stop here here it is that is our cookie cutter file i like to do a little bit of work on it so you can see it's it's gonna make a cutter. You can also make a bunch of other stuff. I just use cutter size, millimeters or inches. So I'm in the United States, we like to use inches. I actually do almost all of my cookie cutters in millimeters because it's so much easier. But today we're gonna do inches and I'm gonna do a four inch cutter. So not five, but four inch cutter. So simple enough, you just create the four inch cutter. It's gonna generate the model and it's gonna give you the cookie cutter. So size, so you can do width, four inches in width that's a little bit too big for me four inches in height that's what I want I want the four inch height cookie cutter so I'm gonna go down so blade so what is the blade of a cookie cutter so there's three parts of a cookie cutter you've got the hole as I like to call it so that's the the part of the cookie cutter it's what the cookie is going to look like that is the hole now here's the funny thing about cookie cutters the way you make a cookie cutter is the hole is backwards because the the top of a cookie cutter is where the handle is so the cool thing about this website is that if you had a word and we'll make a word next if you have a word obviously you can't just have the word the right you know the proper way because if you make the word and you cut a cookie out the word is backwards so this site and you'll see later it makes the cookie backwards makes the cookie cutter backwards which is amazing that it, I, mean, I don't know how they did it uh but i don't have to do it because they already did so this one is a symmetrical cookie cutter so you don't need to worry about it being backwards but i'll show you later so the blade so the, i go sam you get the hole you have a blade and you have a handle so I like to make my blades with an extra blade and what it is it makes it to where you have a separate cutting blade so you can see like most 3d printed cookie cutters have this extra blade 
And I like to make my blades one millimeter deep. And you'll see it change, makes it a little deeper. And then I also make the, change the thickness to 0.7. Now, this is based on the 3D printer I have. So my 3D printer's extruder is a 0.7 millimeter extruder. So if I made it thicker than 0.7, we have an issue. If I make it thinner than 0.7, we have an issue. So this works um, for me. I like to have the one millimeter blade and it's 0.7 millimeters wide. Um, and then I make my handle a little bit wider and I'll explain why that and the extra piece that I like to make. It just makes them a little bit more rigid. I make them six millimeters um, wide. It makes it a little bit bigger. It takes a little bit longer on the 3D printer, but it works. So that's all I do. I don't do center bars, but you can see what that does. You don't need to make those for something like this. It would make it a little bit more rigid. We don't need that. So this is a very rigid, very strong cookie cutter the way it is. And it's already figured. What we're going to do is download the STL. STL, uh, I'm not sure what it means. I probably should have looked it up, but I didn't. STL is the file that you're going to send to your 3D printer um, slicing software. Uh, but first, we're going to do one extra thing. So I'm going to download the STL. It's going to say generating model. Please wait. This it can take a few minutes. It takes maybe 15 seconds at the most. And once it's done, I said it's going to take 15 seconds. Now it's going to take longer because I said it's going to take less time. Um, all right, so it's done. See where it downloaded uh, on there. It says cookie sucker cookie cad stl. Cool. So if you want to be done, you can be done. But I like to do one extra thing, um, and I like to be able to label my cookie cutters. Tell me what they are because my wife always tells me like, what is this cookie cutter? Because a lot of these cookie cutters we do are. They're big bubbles and they don't look anything like what it's gonna end up being. So we we save the image, we save the files, and but if you don't know what the cookie is, you just have a box of cookie cutters, you don't know what they are. What I like to do is I like to put something on the cookie that tells me what they are. So the next file we're, next place we're gonna go is Tinkercad.com. Tinkercad is a 3D modeling software website. If you wanted to do any kinds of 3D modeling, this is the place to go. So what we're gonna do is the Tinkercad Autodesk. Again, you're gonna have to sign in, just Google the Google sign in, and that is all you need. Um, let's see here. Okay, so we're gonna go to Tinkercad. We're gonna say create new design. All right. <clears throat> it's gonna open up a little platform work plane here, and we're gonna import our object from what we did I think we went to download cookie cutter suck cookie sucker at cookie cad and we're gonna import it's gonna import millimeters it's not a big deal we're not gonna change the size if you change the size you will mess up your cookie cutter so we're not gonna change the size and it just you can see here's our 3d printed cookie cutter or our 3d print 3d cookie cutter there's a there's some things you got to learn about this guy but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Featured collection. Actually, collection. Yeah, shape generator. And I'm going to go to this guy here, which is um, curved words. Take my curved words. It says right around here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to change this to sucker. It's a, it's kind of a it's not the best 3D modeling software. Really, the sucker. Um, sucker. Okay, so you see, I said sucker. And I'm gonna change the arc. And, and the reason I want it is I'm gonna put it is kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. Because 
it is not the best 3D modeling software, but it's free. So I'm going to turn it into a hole, and I'm also going to turn it around the other direction. Then I'm just going to move it the old-fashioned way with my arrows. First off, I want to make sure it'll probably be like 0.1. Two. I know. I already know that my on pretty much whatever. And then I'm gonna turn this around so you can see on the bottom it says sucker. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not that big deal. And I'm gonna. I'm going to make them one, and now it's going to sucker in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just so my wife can understand what it is. And then I'm gonna click on it. We're gonna export it. Now, the goofy thing about this is it has funny names. So I'm gonna put sucker cutter up here. Export STL. And then it just went to my went to my programs. Or went to my um uh download. So the next thing we gotta do is we gotta open up the 3D or the the um, the 3D printer program. So it's I use I have a Prusa printer. I use the Prusa slicer again. It's all free. Um, I have two printers. The Prusa is the easiest one for me um, that I enjoy using. So. File, import, import STL, download sucker cutter, and we would be able to print that. Let's see how long this would take. Slice now. It tells me this would take an hour and 39 minutes. So with all the information I just sent you, or I talked about, we found a picture and we made the cut, we made the file. It has been probably about 15 minutes now, 25 minutes since I started talking. So let's, let's, I think 20 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes of me designing it. That's me talking to you guys, me telling you how I do it, walking you through it. It's 20 minutes. I export this G code, put it on a, put it on a drive and walk over to my printer. And an hour and 40 minutes later, I have a cookie cutter. So in two hours from somebody ordering a bunch of sucker cookies uh, or you know the, the baby cookies or whatever in two hours from them saying hey I want this me finding the photo and we have a cookie cutter ready to go to cut those cookies that simple I would suggest if you guys have a lot of special order cookie cutters or cookies that you get a 3d printer and you Make your own cookie. Now, your cookie cutters. So you're like, well, Jordan, how much does it cost to make each cookie cutter? So this tells you about how much filament for a uh, 3D printer is going to take. It's going to take uh, point <laughs> used filament, 0.73 inches cubed, about 195 inches of filament. So, um, which is about Okay, it says 14.79 grams of filament. So um, a two, I think it's one kilogram, one kilogram, let's do the math real quick. I've never done this before, so this, this would be a fun to figure out. So uh, one kilogram is a thousand grams, right? So a thousand grams cost me nine well let's just round it up twenty dollars so um 15 grams is by the by that 0 0.015 times uh 30 cents so this one cookie cutter will cost me 30 cents 
if I wanted to order that cookie cutter, uh, it would take it would be about three dollars. I mean, I'd say about three dollars on average on Etsy. Three dollars plus maybe three dollars shipping handling. So six dollars for this cookie cutter plus the time it takes. So it's going to take them a week to get it to me. So if I have to get this, if it takes me a week to get it and six dollars, I, I just save myself a week's worth of waiting and about five dollars and fifty cents for the money. So I think it's well worth the process. Uh, so the next thing we do, so well, that's great for just using um, images. What about words? So one of the one of the things that you guys love to do is make the words. So uh, try. So I can just open a document. Document. All right. So I have a new document. I'm just gonna type the word in baby. A Y baby Y. That's not it. All right, and I'm gonna change this. One of our favorite fonts. I can open. Guy. A little bit bigger. Boom. So, baby. And what we're going to do is I'm going to. Nope, I don't want it to be big. I want it to be a little. Same thing. Snip. So again, the first program we use was a little cameo. That guy. And I have actually not done this in this program. So I open. Or bigger but same process we're gonna go to the trace up trace area here's the outline here's the thing that doesn't seem right does it so what we'll do is we'll make this offset make it to where it starts going more offset that We want. I want one more, I think. See, now this would look like a nice cookie. And look, put this baby right in the center. You guys would see exactly what I'm talking about. So, for words, it's the same process as we did in the picture. You gotta take this outline, fill it in, red. Same thing, remember we can't use the output file from Silhouette, so we just snip or use that command, shift four, file bag, baby, uh, cookie, on the desktop, all right, that one, and now we're gonna go again to Cookie CAD, and we already used Cookie CAD, so we just do upload new image. Desktop. A 
maybe cookie. I want to make this one about five inches long. So longest side, five inches. I'm going to see it's upside down right now, but remember what I talked about it being, they flip it around. So if I cut it, I cut it this way and you see E, A, D, Y. See that's the handle. You see the cutter edge backwards. It does that for you because whoever made cookiecad.com amazing. So I read download STL. Wait a little bit. Once it tells you it's downloaded, next program we're gonna go, I'm not gonna go to, uh, well, might as well. So it's downloaded. Now I'm gonna go to my Anchorcad. Take this one. Name to baby cutter. Import from where it was. Again, downloads. Baby cookie. Add. Import. Got our curved specs. Type the word baby. Y. Close it up, close the arc up a little bit. Come on. I, I guess turn I gotta turn into a hole. And I'm going to drop it so come on. This is my least favorite program that I use on this so over. And then the other, the other, export it out, STL, baby cutter, and then we go to our program here. We'll just, we'll just add it. Let's see. Fit. Port. Port. Baby cutter. So we would be able to print both these, I believe. Move it around a little bit. There we go. So if we had an order for a baby, birds, as well as a battle, print those out. And I think. That baby might have taken me five, ten minutes. You can see if you have, I mean, that's, I'd say these it's a quick. Um, see, it's going to take three, about three hours, 45 minutes. So, again, like I said, if you had the order, instead of taking you two weeks or a week to get those cutters in, and this would be about eight dollars and it costs you less than a dollar to make them and you'll have them half you know four hours you'll have two cutters or and if they don't work you can reprint you know if they're not the right size you can resize them you can uh, work out you know whatever you need to do time it's gonna be funny who knows might be in selling some so uh wrap it up if you guys aren't members of the cottage food bakers of northwest florida we'd be happy to have you if you guys have any questions i'll stick around for about five minutes and see if you guys uh, have any questions for me other than that um thank you for uh joining me